month. Funding officially ran out at the stroke of midnight, and it was not until just before 2 a.m. that the Senate passed a bill combining short-term funding and a long-term budget. The House passed the legislation around 5.30 this morning, and we learned that the president signed it just about 20 minutes ago. NBC's Casey Ounce is live on the Hill. Casey, was this all just theater, or were there actual consequences here? The consequences for the government were relatively minor here, Stephanie. There were some agencies that were looking at putting their contingency plans in place uh, in the event of a more prolonged shutdown. But at the end of the day, this only lasted for a handful of hours, and the government uh, can, in fact, uh, continue its normal operations through that. We knew that the White House was going to sign uh, this bill after it was passed, uh, just after 5 o'clock this morning. The president, of course, ultimately signing the bill. This was uh, really a show by Senator Rand Paul. He made a very public point. This, this would not have happened. We would not have had a couple of hours of a shutdown government uh, if he had not decided that he was going to object and insist that this whole package was fiscally irresponsible. Are lawmakers calling this thing a win? I think that for the most part, the, the sense is that this is another thing that, quite frankly, doesn't make Congress look very good. I think there was a lot of frustration after the last shutdown just a couple of weeks ago that everybody was losing. Both sides were losing, uh, particularly I think Democrats felt uh, as though their strategy didn't exactly pan out. And really, at the end of the day, they passed, they announced a big bipartisan deal, uh, and they are, were able to pass it. Instead of getting credit and having the focus on that, they're instead looking at headlines this morning about another brief shutdown. Okay, I don't want to be a sassy pants here, but Congress got this thing a day and a half ago. It's almost 700 pages. When you speak to these men and women on the Hill, do they actually know what they just passed? I mean, unless they've got Evelyn Woods on hand, who reads 700 pages? It, and honestly, Steph, if you try and read the bill, I mean, for, for the average person who's sitting at home, if you try to click on this online and, and spin through this PDF, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense necessarily. It's very hard to sort through. I would say that the reality here is they have been negotiating this package literally for months, and it had been held up over immigration, some other issues. It's why you heard Republicans accusing Democrats of, of holding up this kind of a deal for issues that they say are not related. Obviously, Nancy Pelosi feels as though they should be related, and, and that's what Chuck Schumer uh, you know, shut, uh, led a shutdown uh, over just a couple of weeks ago, this idea that they should be dealing with DACA, with the immigration issue as part of a bill that absolutely has to pass. But in the wake of that last shutdown, that's what was jogged loose. That's what broke the logjam. And this deal, which again, they have been working on for months, and Speaker Ryan and uh, McConnell, as well as Democratic leaders, they've all been saying, look, we are this close on a major deal that will kind of unlock everything else. And that's what happened here. So uh, I think it's a little bit misleading to say that, that nobody had any chance to actually understand what was in this bill. There is an argument that, you know, this was negotiated by the leadership. So there wasn't necessarily uh, a lot of information for rank and file uh, members in a day-to-day -day way. So there were a lot of, I think, fiscal conservatives who looked at this and were very, uh, very surprised and obviously angry. And that's what Rand Paul uh, was talking about. But the idea that this deal was completely thrown together Together within 24 to 48 hours is simply not the case. It's not possible to write uh, a deal this big in that amount of time. And, and remember, this is still a continuing resolution. It only goes until March 23rd. They have to write what's known up here as an omnibus. They have to actually figure out how to spend all this money line by line. So that's going to take at least uh, that amount of time simply to write, to put the pens to paper and write that bill.